Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a car with automatic transmission. Okay, and you want to see how to test transmission shifting solenoids. There we will explain that step by step. Uh, now, uh, you have uh, quite a few solenoids. For instance, that six speed transmission has eight solenoids. Uh, each one of those controls something, certain gears, uh, let's say torque converters, line pressure, clutches, so multiple things. But before we start, uh, let me tell you people who make one simple mistake that can destroy your transmission we're going to talk about that in just a second uh, every single car as we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. This is guys, okay, the transmission right here that we have, automatic transmission, six speed transmission. We have uh, eight solenoids, for instance, the top one is for the torque converter. This one is for uh, uh, second and sixth gear. This one is for third, fifth and reverse. Uh, this one is shift clutch B, shift clutch A. Uh, you have UD, OD and line pressure solenoid. So, uh, if you have problems with transmission shifting hard, okay, that could be due to actually guys, okay, uh, to actually solenoid that uh, is dirty and sticking. If you have transmission, okay, that's uh, slipping, that has kick, that could be because of that solenoid as well. Another thing, it could be dirty throttle, uh, dirty transmission valve body. You can see that fluid is extremely dirty inside. You can see the swirls, that's uh, clutch wear and uh, the transmission has mo multiple moving parts. So if you don't change your transmission fluid on time, those deposits will be accumulated in the valve body and eventually, okay, it can start malfunctioning. So uh, <coughs> now people change transmission fluid sometimes and the transmission starts acting up. That could happen if you use the wrong type of fluid or in some cases you may need to change it up to three times okay because the first time you put clean fluid it can clean things and clog things up so you need to do it uh, flush it two more times and uh, that way you replace most of the fluid because most of the times you can drain about 50 to 60 percent of the transmission fluid uh, uh, and the rest will be still in the torque converter in the valve body you unless you take everything completely apart you will not be able to drain it all the way now how do you clean the solenoids uh, most of those okay you can get alligator clips on the back side you have two wires you have to be extremely careful because if you touch these two wires together while you have a battery supply that solenoid will burn guys okay will burn so that can destroy the solenoid so be careful have one person to make sure the wires don't move uh, when you circulate it with a 9 volt battery it will open and close check it out now let's do that Okay, now uh, the best thing that I recommend is to get a mass airflow uh, cleaner. Okay, that's the one right here we just ran out. We cleaned some of them and on the last one we decided to make the video. What you have to do, open and close it multiple times, spray at the same time while it's open, keep it open then closed. Okay, and do that one. Also, uh, you can use the interphone okay super thin spray as well. This one cleans pretty good as well, but let's keep it open now okay apply to the, the battery okay and you spray inside you spray everywhere okay and then circulate it again okay and you can see the nastiness coming out of it but uh, this one is super thin so it will clean really good and i recommend okay to use the interphone you can skip that step if you don't have it uh, but what you can do you can get a cup of transmission fluid that's clean new transmission fluid submerge the solenoid up to here okay only the front section and circulate it open and close in the cup okay so it can uh, circulate and uh, get all the uh, bad stuff out of it as well but mass airflow will be one of the best things that we use here at the shop so hopefully the video will be helpful uh, uh, to any of you guys that need help with that thank you for watching and see you next time